how to design your tension member. The story, we have a building, steel building. We did our layout, how much did load, how much light load, how much wind load. We did combination, we get a result from structure analysis. Right now, we have a truss member under tension force. We would like to design it. We have different way to design your member, sometimes one angle, sometimes back-to-back uh, -back, uh, angle, or star-shaped angles. We have two situations. To avoid excessive deformation, to avoid yielding of your member, we need your factor load smaller than or equal 0.9 F yield area gross. To avoid fracture of your member, we need your factor load from structure analysis, uh, smaller than or equal 0.75 F ultimate area effective. Last time, we talked about what is the difference between area gross and area net. And today, we will talk about effective area. Anyway, gross area, at this cross section, we don't have holes. So at this location, your member as a total cross section can work. So we have area gross. But if you may cut at the location of your hole, we have subtraction. We have deduction of your area, which called area net. But this is the case if your connection between members called bolted connection. Bolted connection means we have a hole, we have bolt in your hole to make connection between members. Sometimes your connection based on welding. So we have welded connection. In this case, we don't have hole because we don't have bolts. So your area net will be the same like area gross. How can I calculate my area uh, net? First, you need to be sure we have something called bolt diameter. D bolt. We need to make hole for this bolt, your hole will be wider a little bit. So we have something called the hole. When you are making your hole, we can expect additional damage around this hole. So you have finally diameter that should be subtracted equal. D bolt plus one sixteenths plus one sixteenths. First one to make your whole actual hole wider. Second one sixteen, we can expect additional damage in your hole. So finally, you can area subtracted can be D bolt plus one eighth time thickness. One sixteenths plus one sixteenths is one eighth plus the original diameter of your bolt, time thickness, you can get the area of hole that should be subtracted from the gross area. We have two situations, actually. Sometimes your arrangement of bolts or holes in barrel holes, or sometimes staggered hole. In barrel, so we have area gross minus subtracted area. If you have standard, we can expect additional term called summation <coughs> S squared divided 4G. Remember, I'm sorry, this one not G, it's P. S is the longitudinal distance between each bolt. S is the longitudinal distance between each bolt. P, pitch, pitch between this row and this row of 
holes or poles. So only we added this term if you have staggered arrangement. We did one example last time. We would like to continue for this one. We have single angle tension member. A single angle tension member. L four times four times three eighths inch. Every word has a meaning. Every word has a meaning. Single angle, that means the cross section for this member looks like this. <coughs> Single angle. Tension member, that means this member under tension. L4 times 4 times 3 8, that means this cross section has two equal leg. First leg, four inch. Second leg, four inch. Thickness of each leg, three eighths inch. <coughs> if you would like to get more and more about this angle, you have a table. Can found, you can find it on uh, my video. Here you go. This table from uh, AISC, based on what is the name of your leg, uh, of your angle, <coughs> you can get what you want starting from moment of inertia, starting from radius of gyration, y bar. Everything, uh, weight per unit feet, area, gross for this angle. Let's search about our angle. Our angle called four times four times three eighths. Go down, this one eight by eight. We need four by four. Down, here you go. We have L four by four. The thickness is three eighths. Do you have three eighths here? Yes. So, L four by four times three eight thickness. What is the area gross? Uh, which one is area gross? Two, First three, one, second one, third uh, column. One, two, three. So your area gross <coughs> one point two three inch square. So first step, if you know what is the name of your uh, cross section, you can go through these tables to get what you want. Area gross, weight per unit, uh, section properties, everything. A few minutes later, you will use R, radius of gyration. Sometimes later, you will use I, moment of inertia. So everything from your cross section, you can get it from this table. Any question? So remember, what is the area gross? 1.23 inch square. Okay. Yeah, I found a different value. Yeah, same. Yeah. I'm sorry? I found a different value in this table of angles. Which? Um, <coughs> Do you have another uh, same name? Yeah. Four times four times three eight? Yes, it says 2.86. Which one? The, the area. Area gross? Yes. Yeah, I see 2.86. The top one, but the next one, well, he went down to 3.3. Oh, it's in the second one. No, no, this one. So, oh, one with three. Five. Three. Mm -hmm. The table. Yeah. Go up. The other 
No, but this is four by four. Yeah, but we we'll go, we'll go down there. Oh, that's a uh, gold pan. Okay. <laughs> oh. So, uh, yeah, still. No, it's because, yeah. Doctor, I don't think you need it. Yeah, you, you're looking at R. Yeah. Like the one that you put up. Oh, oh. 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 so I mean, it's a long structure. I mean, yes. Yeah. One, uh, L four by four. I'm sorry. Uh, remember, for each page, actually, it's two page. Yeah. This one, table one seven. Here is the first one. Table one seven. Here is your end. I'm sorry. Here is the first one. Uh, your angle. You have your key, weight, area. Everything about x axis. And everything about y axis. And everything about z axis for the same angles. So this one and this one should be one table. Then this one. And the next one should be one table. Our angle, 4 times 4 times 3 eighths. Your area, 2.86. If you go down, it will be the same table, 4 times 4 times 3 eighths, but 1.23 for a value of r, about y-axis. So be careful about when you are picking up your properties or your name of the bed. Keep going. So this angle has area gross equal 2.86 inches square. Made from A. 36 steel. If you go back to your table in the first PDF file, you will find your F yield and your F output. Anybody remember what is the value of F yield? Uh, 36. Yes. KSI. FU. 58. 58. Yes. It's connected to a gusset blade with 58 inch. Diameter bolts as shown. It's very important. Your bolts had a diameter DB equal 5.8. The surface load are 35 kip. Your dead load as a tension in this member equal 35 kip. Your life load as a tension member as a tension force in this member equal 15 kip. I'm sorry, I cannot understand this one. It's okay. In your homework, you have your truss. That's right. One case of loading, you have dead load. That's right. You solve it only due to dead load. So your tension force in your member, 35 kip. You build another model and put only your life load and solve. <coughs> your tension force in the same member equal 15 kip. This is the meaning of your dead load and your life load which is given in the problem. We didn't do this because we have a very powerful uh, software reason we can apply dead load, apply life load, apply wind load in the same model, and the same model can make combination and give us the final answer. That's right? Okay? Determine the efficiency or uh, adequacy of this member using AISC specification. Assume that the effective net area equal 0.85 from area net. This is assumed.
what we need to do? The problem asked for this member with angle four times four times three eight will be enough, will be good to support this dead load and this life load according to AISC specification. Okay? Your P output must be smaller than or equal, must be smaller than or equal. Maybe one, uh, point 0.9 F yield area growth, that's right, to avoid what? Yielding. Yield. Point 0.75 F ultimate area effective to avoid what? Fraction. Fraction. It is your design equation. <coughs> P ultimate factor combined loads. Okay. Your P ultimate may be, may be 1.4 dead load. Your P ultimate may be 1.2 dead load plus 1.6 life load. We have only two combinations because we have only did load and life load. We don't have wind. We don't have earthquake. We don't have anything. Snow. No. We have only dead and life. So we have only two combinations. If you go back for your seven combinations, you will get only two. So the first one, 1.4 times 35. What's your value? Yes. Forty-nine kip. The second one, we have 1.2 times 35, we have 1.6 times 15. This one, most of the time, governs the design. 1.2 times 35 plus 1.6 times 15. Your value will be 66 kip. So, my ultimate load, my factor to combine load, 36, I'm sorry, 66 kip. I would like to be sure. This value smaller than or equal. This value to avoid yielding. This value to avoid fraction. So what this value is? 0.9 times F yield, 36 <coughs> times your area gross from table, 